Hi, I'm Brandon J from WA Production and this is my home studio. So, it's been a few weeks since 2023 came and we're so psyched to bring more quality content to you guys starting with the walkthrough of my studio. It is still a work in progress since it was only built last year and I'm still acquiring more stuff for it. It is where I spend most of my time brainstorming, writing songs, making beats, and editing videos. So, let's start with my workstation and equipment. I run Windows 10 Professional on a 10th generation Core i7 processor with 32 gigs of RAM, 2 terabytes of SSD storage, and a GTX 1660 Ti graphics processor with 6 gigs of VRAM. I have a 24-inch Asus VL249 display monitor with a maximum refresh rate of 60Hz attached to a flexible monitor mount. I can move it forward, backward, and tilt vertically and horizontally, which is helpful depending on my sitting position and proximity. I use a Canon DSLR camera and an Audio-Technica USB microphone for virtual meetings and conferences. But recently, I've been using my dedicated wide-angle web camera because it is much more convenient. I reduced all wired connections to the central processing unit or CPU as much as possible, so I got myself a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard from Logitech. They both sit on an extra-large RGB gaming mouse pad that I bought online. I have a pair of Yamaha HS5 monitor speakers. These speakers are connected to my M-Audio M-Track 2x2C series audio interface. It has 48 volts of phantom power that supply one XLR mic input which can record in 24-bit 192kHz resolution. All of it is carried by my sit-stand desk with a custom mahogany top. It has four presets you can manually configure, but I only use two. One for sitting, and one for standing. It can lift as much as 120 kilograms and is quite helpful in easing my back pain from sitting for a prolonged period. Speaking of sitting, I sit on a nice ergonomic gaming chair with a retractable armrest and adjustable height. This is where I record my dialogue and other raw organic sounds. I use an Audio-Technica AT2035 condenser microphone, a pop filter, and a portable vocal booth mounted to this microphone stand. I'm using Samsung SR950 closed back headphones to monitor the audio signal from the computer. It is the cheapest and most reliable option I can find online. My MIDI controller is a first-gen Keylab 61 from Arturia. It has a bunch of knobs and faders and even comes with a velocity-sensitive drum pad. I bought this back in 2017. It is a bit pricey but it comes with a few virtual instruments and is durable, so it is an excellent bang for the buck. I use this Epiphone Dreadnought acoustic guitar to write chord progressions. I bought this in 2019 and it sounds fantastic, especially with Elixir strings. Every electronic device in this workstation is powered by a non-interruptible power supply or UPS to avoid circuit problems if there is a sudden power outage. It also buys me 30 minutes of time to save all and save project if it happens. This is my pet and work companion, Reese. I have three other dogs, but she's the only one who is well potty trained. She always sneaks under the table when I'm working on a track, demanding some belly rub. I like having her around because she helps calm my mind when I feel stressed and pressured at work. I'm surrounded with 10 sound isolation panels. These are really easy to make. I made a video tutorial on how to create and install them. The link will be somewhere around this video or down in the description. It is essential to have these panels to reduce the natural reverberation of the room when recording and mixing. I have a favorite spot in the room where I like to spend some of my time working. You see, most studios have couches in them. I wanted mine to be different, so I got myself a bed. It is where I lay when I'm just replying to emails, writing scripts and lyrics, and planning tasks I will do for the day. The 5-inch mattress is also quite helpful when it comes to taming the early reflections of the room. I use a pair of ring lights to light up my face when shooting. These ring lights can also be used as lamp because you can adjust their brightness to your taste. I have a scented candle here on top of my desk that I use not only for its scent but also for its light. 
in my ceiling, I have a system of RGB strip lights installed. I can change the color and brightness using an app on my smartphone or by using this remote. My on-the-go setup consists of a 15-inch gaming laptop with almost the exact specification of my desktop computer. A 25K mini keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, and an Audio-Technica M40 headphone. This is my setup when I go somewhere to finish my work because sometimes I feel so isolated that I want to be surrounded by other people. My workstation can also serve as a docking station for my laptop. I have a separate HDMI cable that is connected to an HDMI splitter. With the press of a button, the display feed from the CPU gets transferred to my laptop. My mouse and keyboard also have a multi-device feature where I can use them both on my laptop with the press of a button. When I multitask, I use the extend display feature so I can use the laptop as a secondary monitor. I've learned throughout the years that it is not about the gear. It is not about the equipment. It's about your skill. It's about what you know and how you execute. Someone with only a laptop and a crappy headphones can make a really good song if they know their material very well. Make the most of what you have. It is important to invest in learning first before buying high-end equipment so that you avoid buying stuff you don't really need. So, what do you guys think of my setup? Please let us know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Again, I'm Brandon J from WA Production. I will see you guys in the next video.